Uh, g'day everyone, hey welcome, I'm uh, Steve Wrigley aka Wrigglemania, welcome to Laugh Again, powered by Vodafone and Let's Play Live. Can I get a big round of applause to Vodafone for putting this on today, thanks for coming out. Uh, we're having a lot of fun today, we're here uh, at Armageddon, we're live, uh, we're live out on Twitch right now, we're live here to the folks that are filing into the hall at the moment. Um, do anyone here seen shows here in New Zealand like Seven Days and that before? Yeah. yeah. We're going to get a group of comedians to come out here today and uh, we're going to have a bit of a laugh, Goodbye, hopefully, TV3. have a good time. Uh, I, uh, I just want to, again, just a massive thank you to Vodafone for uh, sponsoring this event, for putting it all together. Uh, can I get a massive round of applause to Vodafone, please, for that? And for Armageddon, for putting it on. Uh, guys, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Let's Play Live, but if you're a fan of eSports, this is a really exciting partnership to be doing some stand-up com well, some comedy-based uh, content yeah. with the folks at LPL. Hopefully, we'll be injecting some more comedy content after this into the eSports atmosphere. I don't want to muck around too much, though, guys. We've got about an hour in here today, and we've got a lot of laughs to get to. Uh, and I say we just crack straight into it. What you're going to see up on your screens here... Uh, are a few, uh, a few pieces of material that I have comedians out here making fun of. I'm going to get those comedians out here right now, guys. Uh, can I just get a big round of applause for your panellists today? You've probably seen them on TV, on the web, maybe at the bus stop, because this is New Zealand and no one's really that famous. Please put your hands together for Joseph Moore, Corey gonzalez McCur, Melanie Bracewell, and Laura Daniels. Good to see you, guys. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, all right. Hi, hello. Uh, hi, uh, Mike. Hi, Joe. Hi, Corey. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mel. Hi, Laura. Are you allowed to vote for me? I love that hat. <laughs> Am I? Uh, these guys uh, are going to be playing through uh, a couple of rounds. At the end of each round, I'm going to attribute points at random. It's really up to me. Uh, we're going to pick a winner at the end of the day. Um, it's probably, it'll probably be me as well. Are we allowed to enter the broken phone <laughs> competition? How, yeah. how badly broken is your phone? It's got three big green lines down the... <laughs> I, have, I have an oppo. At, at, the start, at the start of this event, before we went live with this broadcast, we gave away two phones from Vodafone to whoever in the audience had the most broken phone. And honestly, the comedians who are here on the panel today actually have phones that are more broken <laughs> than the broken phones that were out there in the audience. Can we get some free phones for the comedians, please? Thank you, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, Big thanks to Vodafone for the free phones for the comedians. Yeah. Feeling great. Awesome. I'll have an iPhone 11 if you've got one. Yeah, I'll have the Pro. Mine. Okay, is my mic on? Yeah, I think. Is your mic on? Can you hear it? Can you guys hear Corey? Hello. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I love a bit of tech admin to start the show. Life this is how we do things in New Zealand, okay? It's like 10 minutes of tech admin and then 10 minutes of actual show and then 40 minutes of let's go to the pub and get pissed. Um, <laughs> and that's what gets the cheer out of you guys. Thanks. That's great. I really appreciate it. See, we've got some people in cosplay in the audience tonight as well. Well done putting their effort in today. It's nice to see. Cosplay or, I don't know, they might just be from South Auckland and that's how they dress, I'm not sure. Um, guys, I'm, really, I'm just going to get straight into this, I'm going to kick things off. Our first round that we're playing, uh, I, I almost said tonight, this morning, it is 11 o'clock here in New Zealand, uh, so thanks for being up and thanks for watching. Uh, the first round we're going to play is called uh, Catch a Phrase. We love catchphrases in nerd culture, right? We live and die by the catchphrase in movies, on television. What I'm going to do is put a catchphrase uh, up here on the screen. Guys, what I want you to do is tell me a situation uh, in real life uh, or a person who might use that catchphrase and where they would use it outside of where it exists in popular culture. Uh, and here's your first catchphrase to have a bit of a muck around with. All right. oh. uh, catchphrase. catchphrase round. That's the, that's the title of the round. Okay. Okay. The catchphrase that we're going to be going with <laughs> is this catchphrase right here. What one? This one. Oh, ah! It's a trap. <laughs> it's a classic. Please give me scenarios in which someone might say that, it is a trap. That's my catchphrase. I, <laughs> I use it when I tell boys I'm pregnant. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like so when you have a baby and you get the cigars, it's like it's a boy or it's a girl. It should actually say it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually my Tinder bio. Um, yeah. Melanie Bracewell. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I use this catchphrase um, often. When I'm about to, when I'm diving, 
um, and a bowling ball hits a seesaw, and I go off the seesaw into a into a, a big tub, and then a, a shoe kicks a marble down some stairs, <laughs> and uh, some mouse eating the cheese. I yell it at the um, at the at the mice. It's literally, you were just like, "How did I fall for this?" Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think this is what you say to anyone who's been booked at a gig at the Sky City Convention Tent. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, <laughs> I think the, the tea's silent though, right? So it's a wrap. Why would the tea be silent? <laughs> English. I'm sorry. Joseph, do you ever find that you like plan on going through a tunnel only to have your car crash into it and realise someone just painted that on a wall? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quite often. Okay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to jump on, guys. I've got one, I've got one. Oh, you've got one oh, more? You, you, oh, go for it. Knock well, it. Throw it, it out there. It clearly seems like a catchphrase to use if you are a large squid man commanding a rebel fleet. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed the phrase used by Admiral Akbar famously. Are we guessing the actual thing? Uh, no, or are we we're doing jokes? I mean, like... I'm pretty, I'm, I mean, you can guess the actual thing if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine with me. I don't mind. I, I would prefer joke answers, but if you want to do actual answers and just turn this into a round of trivia. That's what um, the uh, rest of Germany should have said to, uh, when Hitler said, hey, we're just a cool party, we're just going to chill out. <laughs> no, it's a trap. I mean, we could, so basically, if I had to choose between jokes about the Holocaust and real answers, um, <laughs> I will take Admiral Akbar. But... I'm Josh. Uh, okay, good to know where the lines are today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, who oh, said... Both jokes about war, though, aren't they? Really? The what? <laughs> you, can you let me please Star move on to the next slide? World. Oh, my God. All right, anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, who said this and where? Uh, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Um, I say this whenever I play against uh, Toon Link on Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, when, when he's easily the weakest link of the Smash Bros. Of links. all of the of all of the links in the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah, this is what uh, um, Simon Bridges says when he has a wink. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you been there for that? <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just making eye contact with a lot of children in the room. <laughs> yes. uh, yes. Feeling stressed out. Yeah, a wank is when your PlayStation <laughs> controller breaks and you have to get a new one. No, this, this is what um, Beyonce said one on one to the other members of Destiny's Child. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was what I. Uh, um, MediaWorks has said to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Too real. <laughs> and that's why we're here on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And does anyone have any cash? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love a ride home um, or a new phone. <laughs> um, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, you got me? Uh, yeah. The, you know, Tony Stark had a big emotional funeral, but the words spoken after uh, Black Widow died was this. <laughs> yeah. I know, no tears were shed for Black Widow. <laughs> Everyone it, uh, was like, finally, Scarlett Johansson is out of our lives. No is one it, cared. Is it, uh, is it, what did Simon say to Garfunkel? <laughs> is this oh. a, uh, what? What are parents basically saying when they don't vaccinate their kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I hope every child in this room has been vaxxed. I, that's yeah, actually, that's yeah. where they're, they're, they're just quickly off to vax those kids now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, guys, I'm going to go on uh, to our next uh, slide, please. Can you tell me who uh, said this and why? The catchphrase, go ahead, make my day. This is what I say to my astrology app. That's <laughs> what, what my um, that's what my Sims say to me. <laughs> <laughs> and they what, say it like, and please just don't do that thing you do every day where you put a fire in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, <laughs> I got, that's I got that's urges. That's what, the, that's what the voices in my head say to me every day. <laughs> it's, that, it's that, Corey. <laughs> I'm a dark comedian. <laughs> well, that's, and that's, and that's why he gets us funding. Um, that's what I say to the McDonald's drive-thru when they ask if I want to upsize. 
Um, it's, uh, what I, it's, what, it's what I say to um, God. <laughs> Make my day and everything else. And everything else. <laughs> and everything that's been here for all time. And finally, guys. For a religion. Uh, and finally, guys, who said this and, uh, and why? Oh. It's actually the same one as before. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, uh, I've got to go in. All right. Clint Eastwood. Uh, uh, your next slide is release oh. the Kraken. What's a Kraken? What's a Kraken? Cora's asking, what's a Kraken? Oh, what's a Kraken? No, you've you booked him for the wrong uh, gig. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, what's a Kraken? It's something that is released. Is this what I, what I say when I take off my bra at the end of the day? <laughs> <laughs> um, is this... Is this what a, a drug addict says when they um, release some crack into their lungs? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then immediately go and seek professional help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joseph, thank you. Is that what the <laughs> police say when they find, find the people in your basement? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the, no, I see where you're going. Like you've got the crack and family locked in your basement. The police show up and say, can you release the crack and family, please? Yeah. And you say, you got me, and then you released them. I'm, I'm with you. That makes sense. Um, it's a catchphrase that I imagine the Pirates of the Caribbean writers wish they had to come up with. They've got that whole second movie where there's a, there's a big old Kraken swimming around for half the movie, and no one says release <laughs> no the Kraken. No one says release the Kraken. It's like two solid hours of a Kraken just being on screen, people being comfortable with the Kraken there. Yeah, I know, I know. You'd think it was in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but actually release the Kraken was said by Liam Neeson in the movie Clash of the oh, Titans. This is, what I, this is what I say though when I order calamari, so. <laughs> well that's actually, when you order calamari, like it's usually encased in, it's like encase the Kraken. Like encase the Kraken in breadcrumbs. And <laughs> 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 you, well, you, you then you release it to my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, if uh, anyone would like to release anything into Melanie's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was the most. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, do it. it I'll, I'll go. Um, it's all right. Don't worry, that, that came out before it came in, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, yes, Corey. Were you going to say something? No? Okay. No. That, that was it. That, that was, a, <laughs> that was, a, that was a, a wonderful first and wow. last ever round of Catch a Phrase. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to thank you. Yeah, give him a big round of applause there, please, my guys. Here. Great, uh, and um, yes, uh, who who won catch a phrase? Who won catch yeah. a phrase? Yeah. Um, or do you announce it all at the end? I'm just trying to get. To, I'm just trying to figure out. Are that. we playing for a phone? We yeah, the phone? winner the winner gets to take the broken phones <laughs> that were exchanged for the new phones okay. earlier in the day, and maybe if you put those together with your own broken phones, you'll make a new one. Uh, the winner of that round, uh, hands down, was you, Joseph. Thank you, just because you did an actual joke about video games with your link to the past joke. Thank you. Really I tried really really hard. Appreciate that. Mind you do mind. you do have to keep track of your own points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you can just remember that you have won one round. Okay. That would be really great. Uh -huh, I'm not, not going to be able to remember that. I find that really hard because I've been counting my own points and I'm on a million. So. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you also have to keep track of Laura's points. <laughs> In fact, if you could just keep track of all points, cool, yeah, come on out, that'd be really Boys wonderful. Guy. Thanks. Right. Uh, our next round is called uh, Debated. Those of us who spend any time in the online community are constantly getting debated. If you don't know what getting debated is, it's when you get lured in by some clickbait only to find out the thing you clicked on was nowhere near as exciting as the bait originally implied. Uh, for this round of debated, we are looking at the website wish.com. Yeah. And from the response from our audience, a lot of you have looked at the website wish. <laughs> Com. I am going to show you guys uh, some slides that are uh, from the website wish.com. You are going to have to tell me what clickbait headline was given to the slide to try and lure people in. And this is your first one. Uh, click to adopt this total butterface cat. <laughs> Yeah, the, S the SPCA were like, we're never going to get this one adopted. <laughs> but, uh, you can give this to your cat when Gareth Morgan is in the news. <laughs> is it, uh, 
Yes, I'm into real kinky leather stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I bought this for my cat so it doesn't have to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you really saved it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a blind taste test is the only way to truly know if cats prefer shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Marvel announces a new Daredevil remake. Uh, dear cat. And yes, he is a lawyer by day. Is it, is it black kitten? What? <laughs> <laughs> like black panther? Oh, right, black yeah. kitten? Oh, black oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it actually, yes, that is what it was. Is it, um, <laughs> is it, you won't believe what happens when this cat tries to be like Justin Trudeau? Because it's a black face. In a black face. Yeah, that's one guy was like, yes. You got two applause. I'll go, I'll go back to video game jokes. Okay. <laughs> Is this a metaphor for the American Republicans? <laughs> Yes, it is 100%. It is both a metaphor for the American Republicans and the actual clickbait headline for this was light convenient bathing muzzle for cats <laughs> in black. <laughs> so these actually come in many other colours. What is it for? Are, they, are, are these also for when you're like, cat doesn't like, you know, cats don't really like you. Yeah. yeah so you put it on it so you can't see you when you pet it. It's like, it's not me, it's someone else. It's someone else doing it. <laughs> It's not so, real. It's, you said it's like a bathing thing, so it's like you're so not only are you like blindfolding it, but you're also cleaning a cat that cleans itself. <laughs> so, so yeah, but so you're, how, but I mean, if there's anything I know about you're a pussy, is it can't be clean enough. Okay, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but like a cat cleans itself. I'm just saying. It's well, so it can't, weird. but but obviously you have to clean it because it can't clean itself when it has the mask on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you clean it when it's, it's, so it's all there. Is it, is, it a metaphor for, is it a metaphor for just pussy doesn't want you? Oh, my God. So we're going to move on now to your next, uh, your next product from Wish.com. What is the clickbait title that would accompany oh, wow. What is it? Oh, I can't think of anything product. inappropriate about this. Yeah, please remember there are children in there. Um, is it? $11, what a bargain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you just say you one of these? Did you just say it is the postage that gets you? <laughs> <laughs> She's a genius. Do you want to come up here? And... <laughs> um, oh, they're all yucky. The ones I'm thinking. Yeah. Of. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Is it, is it uh, an iPhone 12 case released? Before the iPhone 12. <laughs> I just had to guess the size. Is this a made in, in pole land? <laughs> Is it, uh, w wow, you won't believe what uh, The Last Jedi looked like before they added the CGI. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's Finn. <laughs> anyway, uh. <laughs> Is it, is it uh, uh, good to see John O'Prior has moved on from uh, Media Work? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, strippers sold separately. <laughs> is it, uh, this is a very misleading ad, but this is actually advertising a cool green vest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be confused by the weird massive tube. This fishing vest will change your life. <laughs> and why do they have four stars? <laughs> what did they do to lose a star is what I want to know. I don't know, but the actual clickbait headline for this simply read, You want this! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, your next item from wish.com, please. Oh, come on! <laughs> is to be fair, when I was putting this show together, I thought that the show time was 11 p.m., not 11 a.m. It's, it's the caption, you want this. <laughs> uh, you don't want this. <laughs> no, the caption is, if you're going to use this, definitely buy this mask for your cat. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it something uh, for, for ladies who want to fit in at the local urinal? <laughs> <laughs> A perfect addition to any water balloon fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, you can keep your pee. 
It'll be yours forever. <laughs> You'll never have to say goodbye again. Uh, oh, oh, is it? It's here. Penis VR. <laughs> You can go about your day while your penis is having a wonderful time. <laughs> is, it, uh, is, that, is, that, is that where you keep Mike Hosking? And... <laughs> is that the, uh, an earlier model of a, a moon cup? What's a moon? What is a moon cup? Oh. <laughs> Let's rip it. <laughs> uh, once, this... once a month, a, a woman. Oh, we'll talk about this after <laughs> Okay, okay, great. Uh, right, thanks. Um, is it a werewolf thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I like black werewolf. I was going to say it's connected to the moon. <laughs> is it um, uh, for when you want to see your long-distance partner, the scent of your dick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that Who is messaging their partner going, Do you know what, though? I just missed the aroma. <laughs> is this? Anyway. Um, it would is never it, make it through New Zealand customs. <laughs> is, it, is this how you play table tennis in Germany? <laughs> is, 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 it, is, oh. is it for um, when you want to like, have really, really safe sex? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, wow, you wouldn't believe this thing only costs 700 cc's. <laughs> the corn chip from the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> now, the actual clickbait headline for this was Five-piece, portable, disposable, unisex, outdoor, camping, sports, travel, emergency, toilet, urine bag, pee bag mini. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah. You got the pee bag mini? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that only holds about 5,000 peas. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did, it did is. Did they, did it they is. know that you can actually piss anywhere? Like, you don't have to go like, <laughs> Not like, if you want to keep your pee. Um, <laughs> this is unisex. Unisex, well. so woman wom can use this. Somehow, yeah. Wow. Me too. What, Me also, too. what kind of underwear is that, ma'am? It is like Mormon underwear. What is happening here? <laughs> is it? And is the, the penis coming out of the... So his underwear in general has a hole? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How much time do we want to spend? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... It is interesting about the underwear that he's put on, though. Like, the people who made this ad went, well, we don't want to be too no, rude. No, no, it's unisex. That, that could be a woman. It could be a woman. Could you know, be. That could be a yeah. skirt. It's like, 2019, right? Steve. I know, and there's 700 cc's of whatever's going on there. Uh, finally, guys, please tell me, what was the clickbait headline that accompanied this product? Jeez. Oh, God. Welcome to Huntley. When you're so far gone that the only option is using white paint on your teeth. <laughs> This is a great product for people who smile while getting their spray tan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's finally here. The technology that enables your teeth to be like the piano from Big. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commend you for the reference, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> right. All right, anyway. um, uh, after using this pen, your tooth will be so white it could become a CEO. <laughs> of a media company that eventually, <laughs> that eventually goes out of business. Well, Captain America's gone. Is it, do, do you feel terrible every time you smile? Because you should. <laughs> um, forget the gums, just rub the cocaine straight on your tooth. <laughs> do I have something on my teeth? <laughs> you, personally, or...? Oh, no, that's a... Do do a caption. Yeah, yeah, great. I'm doing the show. Yeah, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> no, afterwards, if you want to talk about your teeth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like the perfect product for someone who's purposely miscolored all their teeth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's when you, it would just be like, you're like, it would be a shame to whiten all of them. Yeah. Uh, the correct title for this product is Teeth Whitening Pen, Strong and Fast. Eliminate smoke stains, black teeth, yellow teeth, fast whitening pen. That's quite a good, accurate, it seems... If we were playing the actual guessing game, I might have guessed That's something. That's what it would, would have been, yes, yeah. but we were doing wrong, yeah. wrong joke answers. <laughs> um, uh, it was a great round. Guys, give a big round of applause for that round. The winner. Right. Who won? Who won? Right. The winner of that round was, after I have a look at all of the scores that I've tallied up here, it looks like once again it was Joseph Moore. Why? Actually. Why? That's crazy, because I got another This is the most New point. Zealand thing ever. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're killing it. You guys are all out there right now going, the injustice of it. 
Melanie. Okay, it wasn't. It was Melanie. No one else really called. Oh yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. I got an applause. That's what I'm just going to keep. I'm just going to keep saying who won the round until the audience makes uh, a noise that makes me feel like you approve of my choice. Then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's what? That's one, one for Joe and one for Mel? And a million for Laura. And yeah. a million for Laura. Well, it's crazy that I'm not winning. I've oh, definitely man. got the most points. Well, I mean, you are winning. You have a million points right now, so you're definitely in the lead, okay, according to Joe's score telling. Uh, this next round is called uh, True or False. Pretty simple how this one works. I am going to be uh, telling our panel, reading our panel, a news headline uh, from the world of gaming and nerd culture. They are going to have to quiz me and then ultimately decide whether the story I'm telling them about is true uh, or false. And your first headline... False. Sorry, I don't know. ...is 12 minutes of the new Star Wars film was leaked online, but ultimately taken down earlier this week. True or false? No. Oh. So don't shout out the answers, you're ruining it. <laughs> you don't know. It was taken down incredibly quickly. Uh, no, surely not. No. Is Star Wars and Star Trek the same thing? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Troll. Oh, no. Troll. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys, uh, if anyone does have one of those large swords from the sword sale area and wants to join me for a beheading of glory. <laughs> <laughs> You look amazing. <laughs> Let's do it. Amazing. Let's do it. Do you want to shoot I him? Think, I, think, I think you're the one that needs the armor uh, as we're leaving. It's always good to feel something, so let's do it. <laughs> if you um, guys want to do any investigative well, questioning. Well, okay, Disney owns Star Wars. Yes. And Disney would murder anyone who did that? Yes. With, with, so, no, or maybe they did a. I wouldn't be surprised if Disney did a murder. Uh, actually, it did come out that it was a Disney employee who leaked the 12 minutes of the Star Wars trailer. And oh, are you going to try and trick us? You're tricking us. You're tricking us. Is this oh, the game? I'm not tricking you. This is the facts. You're tricking oh, us. I'm giving you the facts us. of the story. I saw some of the Star Wars movie, but it was uh, 30 seconds. It was the trailer. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And along with that trailer, after the trailer was released... How, mu what? how much of it was unleaked? 12 minutes. But like, yeah. Was, no. what, was what, what, it but, like... Was it yeah, like, a little, like a montage, like they'd edited together like the whole film down to 12 minutes, or was it like or just cut 12 out. minutes at the top, 12, the, the, the closing 12 minutes? Give us some more information. It was 12 minutes in the middle of the film, and the reason why uh, it managed to kind of catch fire um, on social media was because the scene... Was? Yeah, <laughs> and, but also the scene depicts Ray and Kylo Ren uh, Kissing each other in a scene that mirrors the moment okay. from Empire Strikes yeah, Back. Okay. Like, so yeah, okay. Star, Wars, no. Star Wars and Harry Potter, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, that actually is what happened in this 12 minutes of footage as Voldemort okay. shows up. I, uh, <laughs> I okay. uh, well, no, no, I believe you. I would believe it if it was just like 12 minutes of like Porg footage released. No. Just, just little porgs flapping around. <laughs> yeah, they, had, yeah. they had a 12 minute long sort of weird yeah. porg mating scene. Steve, what was the... It was on Porg Hub. <laughs> porg Hub. <laughs> what was the fan reaction to the 12 minutes? Uh, well then everyone obviously went into a, a, a crazy speculative uh, furor yeah. over whether this like means that they are in fact brother and sister or whether uh, they're not. So but definitely like saying that J.J. Abrams with this film is trying to tie everything back to the Empire uh, I have a final question. Why so it's a sexy movie. It, like, all the Star Wars movies are sexy movies. Look at the lightsabers, for God's sake. <laughs> I've never it, watched this, so I don't know. Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, I've never, he's one of those I've never watched Star Wars types. It makes a good point, though, because, like, Star Wars do always, like, toe the line between, you know, brother-sister relationships and, like, sexual chemistry with your brother oh, and sister. Oh, that's right. Like, fuck, though. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you guys one at a time. Do you think this is true? Do you think this is false, Laura? True or false? Uh, false. Joe? Just, no, why wasn't it on the news is my other question. Yeah. <laughs> I 100% think it's false because if it isn't and you just like leaked a big portion of the film, everyone in this crowd would be booing you right now. So I think it's false. I 100% could not give a fuck. Twice in two minutes. Thanks, Corey. <laughs>
This is live and we don't have the ability to like bleep anything. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, yeah, the correct answer is actually 100% true. No, no that's a lie. It's <laughs> false. You had them. We all would have heard about it. Okay, this is uh, your next uh, little question here for true or false. Um, an online influencer sold her bath water to her fans. True. How much did you get, Mel? <laughs> <laughs> Look, media, ever since MediaWorks went down, I had to try and get a bit of extra income, okay? Uh, no, if you're not selling your bath water, are you even an influencer? Yeah. I don't think I so, know. Oh, that's um, so gross. Um, I don't have any questions because I, I, know, I know about it. Yeah, yeah. we all, we all yeah. saw the story on the news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe doing things about I know, things I, I, the I, news. I, I never even know the name. Was it like Dolphin? Dolphin. No, what was the girl's name? Is she a Kiwi? Bella Delphine. Yes. Dolphin was close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let me go through this hopeless formality then. Laura, true or false? Uh, true. Joe, true or false? True. Ms. Dolphin sold her uh, water. <laughs> Just true or false, true. please, Joe. Melanie, true or false? Uh, I'm going to say true, and I'm going to say Corey doesn't give. Uh, no, hoops. It's true. <laughs> uh, that is, in fact, true. And uh, the next one is false, and we'll just. <laughs> well, can you tell us what it is? In, 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 in... Okay, uh, this is your final true or false. Um, a new video game is coming out where you play a cow and you successfully win the game <laughs> when you are butchered. I feel uncomfortable that we're on a panel with two vegans. Yeah. <laughs> I, be I believe that. You believe that? Uh, it's yeah. an interesting game. What happens is, is you, you start the game as a cow. Have you guys heard about this one? And you have to go through the whole process of you have to eat as much grass as you can in a certain time limit, and then the more meat you produce when you're butchered, the higher your score. It's like an online mobile game. Isn't it's that, free to download with in-app purchases. Isn't, that just a, isn't this just a hen's night in West Auckland? <laughs> I've spent the last like three weeks mainly being a goose in my life. Yeah. <laughs> so I would I would believe this. I would have said true if you hadn't already told us it was um, false. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I was lying about it being false to throw you off the trail of how true in fact it is, Joseph. Oh my god. I am quite smart. So. <laughs> Should we do that? Let's let's do it. Let's say our answers. Uh, Laura, true or false? It's a tough one. Um, I'm going to lean towards false. Joe. We're playing mind games with me, Steve. <laughs> I'm gonna go true. Okay. I, I'm gonna say false because I think you never planned to actually play the last round. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say true because if it's false, you came up with that and it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is in fact false. <laughs> but if there are any devs out there, who would like to join up with me and make cow eat grass turn into meat game, I think, <laughs> personally, we might really be onto something. Um, the winner at the end of that round is... Corey? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's me. But... I'm being told in my ear it might be Joseph again. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're saying it was definitely it Corey. <laughs> Okay. So that's what so, that's one point right. for each of you and Laura you're on. Uh, how many rounds have we been? We've been three now. Th three million. <laughs> three million. Okay. <laughs> so Laura on three million and then one each for the first of you. <laughs> okay. I'd love to say that was a great round of true or false, but that would not be true. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, this next round uh, is called Press X to What? Mm. I have got uh, a series of uh, characters and creatures from around the world. We are going to treat it like they are the main character in a video game. What my panelists are going to have to do is tell me what button you press to achieve what result in the game. For example, if I was a video game character, my superpower would be that you hold the left bumper until all of your hair falls out and you feel old. Um, <laughs> so your first uh, video game character, please, what would you press and what would happen if it was Ronald McBloody Donald? Okay. Um, press F to pay respects to a child that died from obesity. <laughs> oh, is it... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Press... 
press the left mouse button to make it click. <laughs> Actually, amazing. That's an immediate half a million points. <laughs> wow, catching up. Um, um, Does I press F to let everyone know that gingers aren't real? <laughs> Are you into that? Tap, tap, X, Y, Z to execute quarter pounder combo. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, hold down circle to defeat the Burger King. <laughs> uh, press F for uh, Where's Wally to find his top. <laughs> press. Uh, 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 do you not know who Ronald McDonald is either? <laughs> <laughs> it's not Harry Potter, by the way. Uh, Press X to unlock the uh, chicken nugget recipe. Yeah. The yeah. secret, there's no chicken. There's no chicken. <laughs> Take anything but a chicken, put it in a yeah. small shape. Yeah. Uh, is it uh, press B to uh, resent Grimace for his relationship with Birdie? <laughs> uh, it's been a deep, been a deep dive in the, but it's, it's canon though, it's canon. Is it uh, press A to like deal on family vibes at like lunchtime, and then press B to like deal with drunk muppets at 1am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold down circle to squirt your special sauce. <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> Bring that P. Four million. Four million points. <laughs> um, um, tap triangle to break the ice cream machine. Just kidding, it's already broken. <laughs> Oh, no. uh, is it, um, Does the ice cream machine ever work at McDonald's? <laughs> is it press square to forget to put something in an Uber Eats delivery? <laughs> is it press F? Uh, hey, I'm actually a really good babysitter. Like, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had an Uber Eats like show up and the driver's been like, I'm sorry, they forgot like half of your french fries. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Uber Eats driver eating it on the way there, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going yeah. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Thanks for woman splaining my joke to me. Really appreciate it. Can I just say, this is the first time we've ever done a comedy show at 11 a.m. Oh, my God. I'm I apologize. Is it uh, Press F for, oh, so what's your favorite Creed song? Press F for what is your favorite Creed song? Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, how about we press X and move on to the next one? If yeah. this uh, little creature was a video game character, what uh, button would you uh, press and what would the humble little kiwi bird do? Uh, press F to forage. <laughs> press uh, L1 and R1 to enter stealth mode at the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a, a F isn't for flying, obviously. <laughs> tap, tap, tap Z for laser eyes. <laughs> yeah. I still wish that was the flag, by the way. <laughs> Is it, you know what they say about a, a big beak? Is it? <laughs> it's really that? easy to find hoo hoo grub. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got a massive cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it pr uh, press uh, X? To get eaten by a dog. Aww. That's our national birds are talking about. <laughs> this thing. Why? Can I just say why did we choose that? Like as a nation, like the United States chose the like American bald eagle because they felt like it represented the strength of their nation, and we looked at ourselves as a nation and went, "Yeah, that's us there." That's. <laughs> it's a bird. And what does it do? Not what normal birds do. It's a, <laughs> it's a hedgehog with a beak and a massive cock. <laughs> um, Please stop sexualizing the kiwi bird. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have any more button or key presses for the kiwi bird? Uh, uh, hold, hold down circle to uh, lay an egg, like for a whole week to lay an egg. <laughs> I don't know. Seems, I don't, like, seems like they're very bad at reproducing. <laughs> they are fairly awful at it, yeah. Um, there, is, there is no button to have sex with another kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the controller doesn't have it. It's on the keyboard. <laughs> uh, your next uh, character from a video game, I'd like to know what buttons need to be pressed to trigger what action <laughs> for a Bunnings employee. Um, uh, press start to begin filming ad. <laughs> press select to skip acting lessons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I think they skipped uh, the acting lesson by default. <laughs> <laughs> uh, press square to uh, um, assemble flat pack furniture. And then press square again to have someone else do it for you. <laughs> and then press square again to take over because they were assembling the flat pack furniture wrong. Was it press zero to say, no, it's African sunset? Is it hold the left trigger um, to sell sandpaper to Australian cricketers? <laughs> Is it? Press uh, B to sniff sausage. <laughs> you can't eat one, you're at work. <laughs> is, that, is that a thing for Budding's employees? There's like know. a constant sausage smell. And they're just they... like, oh, when, when three o'clock rolls around. <laughs> is that what that guy sounds like to you? Yeah, mate. <laughs> and do they, do they shut at three o'clock? He... Well, his shift ends at three. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah that's Brian. <laughs> <laughs> From the local Bunnings, he, um, That's right. I saw you guys yeah, he, em he emasculates me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> He's very proud of his job. Yeah. Is he still with uh, Tessa? Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to bring it up. Uh, if Brian from Bunnings was a video game character, though, what buttons would you press and what would happen uh, in a video game? Press X to beat it by 15%. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll move on. Eh? This next character, if this next star person was a, a character in a video game, oh. what button would you press? I, oh. I don't know if you've heard of this guy. <laughs> press home button to self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> um, do not press big red button, please, please, please. Please, <laughs> please whatever you do, there's a button in the briefcase, just leave it alone. Uh, Left bumper to grab some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> because he owns many cats. <laughs> That's what we're getting uh, there. Press C to collude with Ukrainian government. <laughs> or not. Or not. <laughs> or not. You might not have done it. Jerusalem. But you definitely did do it. <laughs> press enter even though your tweet makes no sense at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to menu. Go build. Choose wall. <laughs> you do not have enough resources. <laughs> so that's amazing. Uh, and finally, uh, if this person was a video game character, what button would you press and what would happen? Uh, it's only fair, okay? <laughs> There's yeah. one guy in Gore who loves Trump and was going, well, what about Hillary? So here she is. Okay. Hillary Clinton. Oh, we'll, we'll go uh, press delete to delete emails. <laughs> Worse, just as bad as everything the other guy did. <laughs> that press delete to delete Bill's emails. <laughs> uh, press triangle to join LinkedIn. <laughs> press triangle to join <laughs> LinkedIn? <laughs> Find a new job. <laughs> Uh, press, uh, oh. press F to forgive husband. <laughs> tap A, B, B, up, down, and repeat that for 40 years to break the glass ceiling. <laughs> Only to have the glass ceiling immediately heal itself like a Terminator <laughs> in Terminator 2. It's just mash all the buttons, it doesn't really matter, America's not ready for the president. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys, it was a great round of press X to watch, cheers team. Thank you. Uh, hey, can you guys give them a big round of applause for, uh, for that? Yeah. It was funny, I liked it. Joe. <laughs> your resources joke was outstanding. I'm being told that according to, we've got some pretty serious technology going online uh, right who are you now. talking to? I've got, I've got, like, I've got an earpiece that keeps falling out. Have you not seen me try to stick it back in my giant ear? They're telling me that, uh, for that, for that round, we're actually, obviously we've got a million points for Laura. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. And, uh, Joseph, winner of that round. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Or, oh, wait. <laughs> or it was Melanie. Ruthless. Oh, it's ruthless. I a lot of people to be here. Potentially, they're <laughs> telling me potentially it was Corey. <laughs> <laughs> it was one for each of you. <laughs> one for each of you. Because you already have a million. We, we were all climbing. I know, but I still want to hear people clap for me. <laughs> okay. And I'm also being told that Laura gets another million on top of the million she already got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys, that was so unexpected. <laughs> 
Well, Laura now is sailing into the lead with millions of points. This next round is called Think Tank. There's a lot of emerging technology that we're excited about in the worlds of nerds and geekdom. Uh, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to be a little think tank. I'm going to put an emerging technology on the screen. You guys are going to tell me what we can expect from this emerging technology. And first up, can you please tell me what we can expect from the 5G cellular network provided by Vodafone, who, may I remind you, Corey, are the sponsor of the event. <laughs> um, uh, I'll set this one out. <laughs> uh, is it that uh, Spark will, um, the, will um, go bankrupt? A hundred percent. And we all hope so. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it uh, when Auckland gets 5G, Gore's going to get 3G? So that's cool. <laughs> They're finally... Gore, is Gore still around? Yeah. <laughs> They've got one cell phone there and they all share it. Yeah. Is it uh, technology is going to become so immersive that like, a YouTuber will just come to your house <laughs> and stay on your couch for a few days and, and you've got to feed them and that's how you yeah. watch YouTube. It's 3D but it's a hassle. <laughs> is it, is, is it uh, now that you have 5G, you'll be able to get reception in the forest, which comes in handy while you're LARPing, which I think a lot of, a lot of you people will be into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except if you're actually traditionally properly LARPing in the forest, uh, you would not have your cell phone because yeah. <laughs> elves, elves. elves don't have the cellular network. <laughs> we all know that if elves need to communicate to each, with each other, they find a tree, place their hand on the tree, <laughs> And then another elf places their hand on another tree, and through the network of the tree's roots, they talk to each other. That's, That's common way knowledge. Better than yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we getting that oh, with, with five yeah. yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Put your hands on trees. Yeah. Wonderful. Technology. Um, uh, uh, will you be able to watch um, the home screen of Netflix, where you don't decide what you watch for an hour in high definition? <laughs> <laughs> Is it um, 5G so fast? you can get your friends' messages before they've even written them. <laughs> like they're just coming to you ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> you can read their minds. Uh, you can get a $300 spark bill twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, get me out of there. I want to get out of that contract. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you have one for the 5G cellular network too, Corey? Oh, no, it's okay, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what can we expect from this emerging technology? Artificial meat. Oh. It's coming out pretty soon. We're going to have artificial meat. We'll no longer have to slaughter animals. We will just be able to make meat in like a 3D printer. What that, things can we expect? Another word for influencer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can expect artificial food poisoning. <laughs> L just like real food poisoning, <laughs> only not really there. Well, look, Steve, we all know the most, um, the most delicious meat of all is from the most dangerous animal of all. Man. And um, <laughs> does this mean, could they start selling fake humans? Yeah. I guess, I, I, like, I guess. But I, I mean, um, would you try mock, like, mock soy human? <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to spend the day hanging out with a fake human, I'd just see what Paul Henry was up to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a, a steak, but you know it's not being honest with you. <laughs> You You're just looking like at your meat going, why can't you just be real with me? Yeah. <laughs> Is it, uh, we'll, we'll be able to make rugby players out of it? Be able to make rugby players out of it. Just, I reckon. Like, you just get a whole lot of artificial meat, you get a, just you kind of sculpt it into the shape of, like... Bowden Barrett or something? Yeah, and then just zap it with some electricity, and he off, goes off and wins the World Cup. <laughs> uh, Absolutely. Uh, can we expect a lower carbon footprint for everyone that buys artificial meat? We can, Laura, we can indeed. <laughs> and finally, uh, what can we expect from this uh, emerging technology? Self-driving cars. What can we expect uh, to happen when self-driving cars? You're always going to owe your car a favour from that time it drove you to the airport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take, your car takes you to the airport and then goes, I mean, technically it was 10 bucks gas, but it's no big deal. <laughs> like, you know, just hit me back, just buy me a quarter pack or something at some point, we'll be fine. I find that wild how friends ask you for rides to the airport. I had friends that I'd, I'd, I'd pick up in the Auckland airport. It's like a 45 minute drive from town to go out and grab them. And uh, 
then they'd get you a bottle of alcohol from duty free. So they'd give me like a $40 bottle. I was like, why not take that money and just get a taxi back in, save me having to go out there and back with you and have to talk to you about your holiday that I didn't know. <laughs> are, we, are, we, are, we doing, are we doing joke answers or just yeah. passively, aggressively? <laughs> <laughs> Like it's one of your mates. I'm just they're watching this live stream. Yeah. <laughs> and you get there and then you've got a whole bottle of alcohol to sort of drown out the talking. Yes. <laughs> While you're driving. Yeah. Yeah. That's not illegal, is it? Oh, nah. wow. No. Joseph? Yeah? Were you going to say something? Oh, joke answer? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, go on. I uh, love them. Oh, well, uh, you've got to give you a bloody car five stars now, don't you? <laughs> and you won't be able to say anything when your car has really bad VO. Um, guys, I'm, <laughs> this is going well. Yeah. It is going really well. I know this is good. It's because the it, this is the self driving show. Welcome yeah. anyone who's just come yeah, in as well. By the way, <laughs> I realise you guys are having a slight discussion amongst yourselves out there in the audience right now about self driving cars. If you could hold on to it for five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, uh, wonderful. Thanks, guys. That was emerging tech. Uh, I'm just being told that winning that round uh, was none of us. Actually, we all lost that one. So. Um, <laughs> One agrees with that. Okay, it's my final round. This is my blind round. We're going into my blind round. For the blind round, I pick a topic that I know for a fact none of my panelists know anything about. Yeah. The topic that I know none of them know anything be about anything. because they make fun of me for it all the time uh, today is professional wrestling. Oh. Uh. This round is very simple. I am going to show you guys a picture of a professional wrestler. You simply need to tell me what their name is and what their finishing move is. And your first professional wrestler is this guy. Uh, who is Amy, I, I, can't, I can't see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> is there's, that... nothing, there's nothing in the picture there. You've, this is quite a famous one you've put yeah. up. Yeah, it's Amy Schumer's boyfriend from Trainwreck. Yes. <laughs> Joseph, I realise that you probably know who the wrestler is, John... but please feel free to make fun of him by oh. giving me joke okay. answers His name in which is... you pretend you don't know who he uh, is. Is this a uh, strong boy? <laughs> is this uh, uh, when he, he was, was in TV saying, I'm actually Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> <laughs> and his move is a uh, strong punch. <laughs> Yeah. Has move us more steroids, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, this wrestler's name is actually Chad, and his finishing move is, is that he it's finishes. And then he does the <laughs> with the next one as well. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Okay, then. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Well, then, who's that? that, that yeah, do you know who this no, one is? No, I don't know who this one is, Steve. Uh, okay. Good. Well, this seems weird. You don't know. It's a white Brian Tamaki, and he fucks you over. <laughs> <laughs> Midsummer. <laughs> yes. This is one of the characters from the film Midsummer, and his finishing move is he turns it into midwinter. Yeah. <laughs> He's an uh, albino, and his finishing move is uh, he. He's an albino. He can't go. His wrestler name is an albino. Uh, this is your next uh, next professional wrestler. Who is this? What's their finishing move? Hey. Is this what's in my head every fucking day? <laughs> <laughs> is this the, the, the Baba Duke, and his finishing move is depression? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's Heath Ledger from 10 Things I Had About You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, who is this wrestler and what is their finishing move? Oh, this is not a wrestler. This is Steve cosplaying <laughs> as the villain from Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the time we have. That's the end of our show. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I'm being told the winner of that round was... Uh, oh, it was actually, it was definitely Mel. <laughs> Okay. Or potentially Corey yeah. for the Brian Tamaki gag. Corey taking out that round. Joe, what are the scores at the end? Uh, so Corey's on two. Yeah. Mel's on five, uh, half a million, five hundred thousand and four. Amazing. I'm on three. Yes. Laura is on seven million. <laughs> Well, that means clearly, uh, after the first ever, and possibly last ever, let's be honest, uh, uh, Laugh Again, powered by Vodafone and Let's Play Live, our winner is the one and only, Miss Laura Daniel. Mister. <laughs> second, second on Dancing with the Stars. But first year. But first year at Laugh Again. Uh, guys, thank you very much uh, for being here today. If you've been watching the stream, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs>
Uh, if you're a child in the audience, your parents have a lot of explaining to do <laughs> in the car. Uh, guys, Corey, Mel, Joseph, Laura, give them a big round of applause, please, for being here today. And what I love about you as an audience is you started small, you wound up getting very big. We've been laughing again. And once again, massive thank you and round of applause to Vodafone for helping us put this on. You guys have been wonderful. We'll see you next time. Okay, open up again and round of applause for us.